we are now going to see the second part of this project mini project which is implementation of ESP32 based LoRa sensor monitoring with web server so let's get started first we will see the block diagram of this project so this project consists of a sender LoRa sender and LoRa receivers there are one sender and there are two receivers so sender here is the LoRa sender node which consists of TTGO ESP32 based LoRa SX1276 OLED board SX1276 is a LoRa chip which is developed by Semtech semiconductors we have seen that in earlier video that Semtech is a founding member of LoRa alliance Semtech organization manufactures this chip SX1276 which is on board on this uh, TTGO ESP32 LoRa board which enables this board as a LoRa technology this is a sender node which uh, which is connected with uh, two sensors one is BMP280 which is atmospheric pressure sensor and temperature sensor second one is the DHT22 which is temperature and humidity sensor this is sender node which senses this both uh, sensing uh, parameters and send that all the information via LoRa to the receiver nodes this board is has a onboard OLED board so we can see the readings of this all these uh, sensors on on board on other hand there is a receiver there are two receivers one is itself this uh, board as a receiver in receiver mode which is TTGO ESP32 LoRa with SX1276 chip and OLED board so this board and second one is the second receiver node is the Arduino Arduino's LoRa board which is Arduino MKR WAN 1300 LoRa board so this board is also interfaced with the 0.96 OLED display to display the all the readings which is coming from the sender node we have also implemented a web server on this ESP32 based uh, LoRa board we can also access this all the readings which is sent by this uh, LoRa sender over the LoRa network and we can access these readings on the this web server we can access on Android or any mobile phone or which uh, whichever we have uh, our laptop or anything which we connect with this uh, Wi-Fi network let's move forward here is the schematic of this uh, project in which this is sender node as we have seen earlier this is a sender and a receiver on this sender node there is a uh, this a TTGO LoRa ESP32 module which has an onboard OLED board and uh, which is connected with the two sensors that is DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor and this is BMP280 temperature and atmospheric pressure sensor this board or uh, this sensor is connected using the I2C interface i square c interface and this one is connected with this board please note that you have to connect this uh, SMA antenna to these boards development boards otherwise uh, there is a chance of board getting damaged manufacturers of these development boards I uh, recommended that you should use this SMA antenna otherwise the board may get uh, damaged due to the power and other things this is a receiver node you can see here which uh, will display the readings coming uh, over the LoRa network which uh, it receives on this module this is uh, Arduino's MKR van 
LoRa board. This is all the schematic of this project. So let's see one by one all block diagram in detail. So this is a sender node. LoRa sender reads sensor readings, temperature, humidity, and atmospheric pressure, converts them into LoRa packet format, and send it. Here we have used LoRa library for Arduino, which is uh, developed by developed by Sandeep Mistri. You can find this link in the description of this video. This is a block diagram of a LoRa sender node. This is a circuit diagram or schematic of this uh, LoRa sender node as we have seen earlier. You can find this all these uh, schematics and code in description and our github link or github account. Here is the LoRa receiver node. We have used two different types of LoRa receiver node. LoRa receiver node is with TTGO ESP32 LoRa and LoRa sender node sorry receiver node 2 is a uh, Arduino MKR1 1300 LoRa receiver node 1 has a web server deployed on it which is this one it gets incoming LoRa packets and displayed the receiving readings on asynchronous web server also on OLED display both Beside the sensor reading, we also display the last time those readings were received and the RSSI received signal strength indicator on this uh, web server. And the second, the LoRa receiver mode 2 is a simple receiver node with the Arduino MKR VAN 1300 board. It gets incoming LoRa packets and displayed the received readings on OLED display. These are receiver nodes. This one is the Arduino MKR van 1300. About web server, to build the web server, you need three different files. One is the Arduino sketch, which is like we can see it is ESP32 sketch. HTML file, this file which we have seen on the web server it has a html file and background image this one is the image code of this uh, web page is in html and background image the html file and the image should be saved inside a folder called uh, data inside the arduino sketch folder here is the main root folder you have to put arduino sketch here and the data folder here in data folder you have to put index.html and background.jpg index.html is the html page which you have going to show on the this uh, portal of a web server and the background image this is the background image how you can do that it we can upload these files using spiffs that is serial peripheral flash file system it is a lightweight flash file system created for microcontrollers and the chips and chips like esp32 and esp8266 support this spiffs flash file system in normally when we use a web server code we in include all this in itself in a sketch but it get tedious to read and uh, all this uh, stuff so, SPFS eases this all the web server coding so it lets you access the flash memory like you would do in a normal file system in a computer you can store HTML and CSS file in SPFS to build the web server including small images and icons you can also refer our ESP32 web server video for more you can check out the description for this link of this video let's move forward and see the implementation and working of this project hi guys now let us see demo of this project ESP32 LoRa web server first of all we will see 
what components used in this project so here is so here is TTGO LoRa 32 development board which is ESP32 based development board which comes with Semtex uh, SX1276 LoRa chip on and on board 0.96 inch OLED display module we have connected another uh, this one uh, OLED display since this one got damaged during experimentation so here is a BMP 280 uh, temperature and atmospheric pressure sensor module this one is DHT 22 uh, temperature and humidity sensor so this is sender node now let's see receivers so we have here used two receivers since this uh, communication is unencrypted so whatever data is sent by the sender node we can receive it on one or more receivers so here is another uh, sx uh, uh, esp32 lora ttgo lora model development board which work as a uh, receiver also and this we have also programmed this uh, module or development board as a web server also so we can access whatever reading sent by sender which get received by on this uh, development board and which we can also access those readings on web server uh, uh, using uh, IP address which uh, will this uh, module will display at a startup we can uh, use that IP address on our Android phone browser and we can use uh, those uh, that IP to access that web server and we can see uh, all the readings which have sent and data sent by this sender so uh, this one is another receiver which is Arduino MKR van 1300 development board by Arduino LoRa development board so this one is also connected with 0.96 inch OLED display so let's start the demo of this project first we will uh, power on this sender node this node is ok now you can see here LoRa sender node 1 name of the city temperature humidity and pressure ok now LoRa sender node is sending now LoRa sender node is sending packets from uh, this location to another uh, locations where receivers are installed so now we will uh, power on the receivers first we will power on this receiver node ok LoRa is initializing readings sent by this uh, sender node you can see here we can see those readings on this receiver node you can see LoRa receiver node 2 now we will switch on or we will power on receiver another receiver node this one and this one is also act as a web server also so we will now switch on this or power on this module ok you can see here now it will show the IP address of the web server so now let's access the web server 
go to browser you have to uh, note that we you have to connect with the same wi-fi network with uh, uh, when we connect at uh, this uh, uh, receiver node where uh, we have installed web server uh, we have to connect with same network same Wi-Fi network so here you can type the IP address okay you can see here we can we have getting the readings and same readings which is shown by this uh, receiver nodes and sent by sender this one okay now you can compare this okay. this is IP address which we will uh, this module uh, on which web server is uh, programmed or installed it will show on startup uh, to which IP address you have to access uh, web server you have to enter that web server's IP address on your browser so you can access these all uh, readings so here is the all this is a, this is sensor node this is this is receiver node and this is also receiver node these two are receiver node this one is a sensor node and this is a, a web page or a web page of this uh, web server we have access accessed using this android phone 